Last time on Flipside. No, no, you're for me, dog. I don't like that over there. 12th of January, I feel like we're ahead of schedule. Way ahead of schedule. Way, way, way ahead of schedule. Really? No. Oh, yeah, you're probably fucked. Can you go down there? Come on, you're making me look like an asshole on the camera. Boys and shit. I hate seeing them go. Fuck, bloody. You're always on the flip side. Ready! This is Flipside, the show that takes you behind the scenes with the Absent Films crew. You were already talking bangers before. Let's do this! Hug with the Absent crew. <laughs> Don't treat the filmers too good, you know? Can't ask for more, so what I prefer? We take apart everything I saw. Had it right here, now it's gone. So fun. Beginning of the season, there was this feeling of this hump that we had to overcome. Um, sorry about this morning. Sorry about that. Couldn't fucking get it today. Mm. Left, 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 left. Where? Where? Left. Where? What? Things were going crazy good. It was snowing, a lot of powder. We were just hitting it up, getting all warmed up, and I was super confident. Got this snow. Okay, back side. Ladies and gentlemen, it's indeed a pleasure to introduce, to introduce, to introduce. Foggy. <laughs> Let me handle that again, dog. That's the Mexican mist he put on there. Mexican mist. What's going on right now, Fori? Fucking, you gonna watch MFM, hit this kicker real quick. Give me sick. One. Holy shit. Gigi, hanging out with him, you're always doing something that you've never done before. You're always shooting something you've never shot it's before. Well Whether it's the trick he's doing <laughs> or just the setup in general. He's always pushing new things, and that's what makes it so fun and interesting to film with him. That's where they kept the gimp. Eventually, Danny and Pierce had to go to European Open, which is just like me and, and Gigi hanging out. Oh! I was really looking forward to see JP this year. Since it was a long time, I was riding with him. Ready! This year he really was amping to go snowboarding. He was like super hyper. I've never seen him so stoked before. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, man, I'm gonna do one right now with my hands on it. Bloody. Justin, what's up? Hey, I'm just in the middle of a session. We're checking a resort right now. Not looking great. <laughs> no. No, it's just, it got windy. Yeah. We are kind of struggling right now, but we're gonna move around, check it out. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing to say. Not really. Should I say something? <laughs> Who wants to say something? We went to Switzerland to meet Flady in his place. We went to three ski resorts. But the snow was really bad. Man, here it's pretty cool. It's a cool resort, no doubt. It's quite a bit rocky still. Yeah. Okay, dude, I have a plan. Flady came up with, he has a secret spot in Switzerland, and maybe we should try to go there. How do we get there? We just go all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Tunnel. Uh -uh. And then we have to go through the tunnel? Oh, no. Or no. no. Oh, that was the one. Oh. <laughs> 
to get it? <laughs> right as things started happening, it was just that stage of the year where Marco was like, X Games. You gotta go to the X Games. I think I got the shot at I mean, we've been repeating this every year. They told me not to go. Justin told me not to go. I went to the X Games and smoked my knee just like that. Done. I always have this feeling of dread when people are going to contests because we've seen so much wreckage as a result of those contests. Marco being a prime example. Kevin and Danny, after the week they spent in Austria, they had to go to Switzerland to the European Open, which uh, was held in Lax. It worked out really good for Kevin. He won. Danny, on the other hand, broke his other ankle. After last year, I was so amped to spend a bunch of my season with Danny, but it didn't work out that way. Uh, it's 4.30 in the morning, and we're on our way to real stock in the goodness. We still got a little bit baked to warm. First trip was quite interesting, I would say. Road trip, right? I just changed the wheel and I, and I forgot to tighten it really tight, so the trailer is kind of fucked, so we're gonna try to fix it. We decided that we're gonna tow the trailer, so Paul was like, yeah, around here it's kind of shady. We should maybe unload the sled off the trailer and leave the trailer on the side of the road. I'm like, nah, that's fine. He's like, no, no, but anyway, should we really do that? That's fucking crazy. <laughs> we came with the truck and it was no trailer. They got stolen. We were going like an hour maybe. Wait, it's good because that trailer was a piece of shit. <laughs> I start doubting like Vancouver. It's sketchy, man. Everything, you, your stuff will get stolen so fast in Vancouver. We head over there just at 30 meters from the gondola, pretty much. Easy, get in the gondola, no rush with the car or anything. We got free lift tickets. It was actually pretty sick. We had good conditions over there. Six feet of snow. It was still rocky at a few places, but sick resort. It was a good start into the season, you know, hitting the first jumps, getting some airtime. It's sick to have another Strata from Austria back on the absent team again, you know, to hang out with and share the cruise. Okay. Now let's redo it again, but in English. No, oh, we're in a German speaking country right now. All right, mix between German and. English. Come on, boys. We're gonna build our champ. Landing there. Yeah. Ready? Go, go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Boom. We had really good sessions up there with Vole and Marco at the beginning. So cool, huh? How's Mooks he do today? And I can tell you, I feel it pretty good too. <laughs> it was fun with JP and um, we had a really good time. We went on a lot of roadside missions. We scoped these avalanche fences. <laughs> you got your powder strudel? This thing, dude, this is bigger than me, dude. <laughs> I was wondering I couldn't do the hand plants, dude. This thing is way too heavy. It's about a 151. <laughs> Small jokes are out. <laughs> it's in to be my size now, dude. You're watching Flipside. So we were going up these avalanche fences and it was pretty big spaces in between and we were wondering if our nose doesn't get hooked underneath. We built up this little tranny and started to do some skate-like tricks. We managed it pretty good and got the session going. As soon as Justin was like yelling, film change, we were looking at each other and saying, yeah, we need to change our balls here. We need to go at least get a shot on this. I've gotten the chance to hang out with him a bunch since we started this hunting thing. Seeing how he's progressed over the years, and I think I haven't met anybody that comes close to him. And just, Gigi's just Gigi. Felt the need to move location. We've been there for a few weeks and wanted to explore some of the rest of Europe. Road trip? Road trip? Tripping on the road? Yes! <laughs>
sick. Standing out here to Bregans. And that's your uh, lake right there, yeah? Yeah, that's the lake. Started getting crappy, you know, it warmed up a little bit and it had snow for a while, so we took on a little European road trip. What country are you going to? Italy or Switzerland? Swiddly. Got a call from Vladi that was good down this place that we're not supposed to talk about. Yeah! Holy shit, I wonder how fucking Simon's gonna make it. Get used to it. What's up? Get used to it. Show? Get used to it. So we did a couple of jibbing stuff while it was bad weather. Vole was doing snow surf. Frode Sandbeck was doing the, the shooting. And he had a camera on the front of the board. You should shoot a, a drop at least, one more, just to see how it looks in the air. Yeah. It's not my camera either. No, it's not about landing. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh. Far is faster than, than you do. Plus I went straight into a fucking <laughs> tree. Oh! <laughs> That's the dip you were talking about. <laughs> that was the one. Finally made it. The river's dog just had to buy a new trailer and now we made it. And it looks like really bluebird and it's gonna be a great day. All that fucking caffeine and ground up shit. Go see my cup this big to do the trick. Hey, look who it is. Beardmore. Beardmore. Oh my gosh! <laughs> now being from Ravelstoke, you know, you get small town syndrome once in a while, but what are you doing? Uh, I know we're <laughs> local Ravelstoke. Oh <laughs> <laughs> It's changed a lot, and now that they put the resort through, it's like, start to see the potential to actually get some heads, you know, running through Revelstoke, spend their money. So what, what do you have to say about uh, the new resort and what you think about it? Fuck this, man. It's ruining our town. I hate this shit. <laughs> our kids won't be safe anymore. Okay. So, uh, so. What the hell? Cool resort up here. Yeah? Yeah, it's really cool, cool man. Fuck. Fuck. That the one uh, Freddy went last year? Mm hmm Okay. The secret one? Yeah, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I had to leave to Canada for a team shooting. It's seven in the morning. Only has to bring me to the train. Still sleeping. Do you want to drive, Freddy? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's battle for it. No. I think you took the responsibility yesterday night. Sylvain joined the day before. Marco had to go to Nelson, so they pretty much crossed their ways. So it was cool, like, having one rider leave and then another one coming, motivated. I like riding with everybody, like everyone I can ride with that brings something new to the table, different personality. Like Roman's all crazy, wild style guy, ready to chuck. Annie is like part man, obviously in her like natural form, she is a woman. But in terms of like stepping away from the pack and like being manly on set, she definitely holds it down. I've seen her eat shit. <laughs> like if it was one of my buddies, like all like, like tough dudes, like I'd be all like, still. But it's like, Eddie. It definitely like opens up your eyes to ride with those guys to like the possibilities that are out there and how far you are from them. <laughs> I'd feel like I just tell the truth. It's okay, every time you ask me a question, you should just answer. Really? It'd be awesome. And just move your mouth. Yeah. So what's next for the absence crew here? I'm going to try and get as much pillows as possible, man. Tap a neck, man. Beard more fucking hit the rock ride. That's my shit now. He took my line, cocksucker, man. I told him that's mine and he ran in front of me. <laughs> Beard more is a fucking snake, man. You guys driving like old ladies. Yo, 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 road trip. 
Vladika had the insider tip of Switzerland this year and he mentioned it. it would be really good if we would actually come there. What do you want to do exactly here? Try to put plant this. The roof. Oh. Almost there. Days later. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'd met up with Brusti in Zurich. We were talking about this dam that Vole has ridden before and he wanted to ride it again and I set up a cable cam on that thing. Go set up the dam. Yeah. Go set up the dam. <laughs> the dam dam. I was skeptical at first, you know, if we're gonna be able to even just pull it off. So many factors need to come together. The deciding factor was we found some cheap flights for Caleb and Eric to come over. Eric Brandt was the latest addition to the absent staff. He came into the picture about a bit over two years ago. It's the day before I'm going to Europe, and I gotta work all night to get the DVD for the last Flipside show. Work is never done. Eric and Caleb came over pretty much right when we were leaving to go to Hot and Shit. This is where uh, Freddy's from. Yeah, he's from like just behind this and then Sassy. Hola! We're doing like 180 the whole way, you know? And all of a sudden, like, boom! Like, JP got busted big time. So, how big is this fine gonna be? Bloody, it better be worth it here. It's gonna be good here. Good here. Das ist Germany? No. Austria. Das ist Asphalt. Caleb is the guy who is doing all the ropes work and a friend of mine from Nelson. Yeah, they, how, how tall is the dam? That's the first hit. You see a little bit of take of, you know, here we do the wall yeah, ride. Yeah, or yeah. like butter over or bonk yeah. that thing if it's working back yeah. into the tranny. Before we got the ropes, we actually went up to the dam to check it out and get an idea like, okay, what are we gonna really need here? Figured out the length of the rope and everything to make sure that we were gonna order the right stuff. We're going up to a hydro dam, it's called Schlegeis. We shot that three years, three years ago. Now we have the key from the company in order to open the gate. It's up some browns now. watching Flipside. My dad's working there. He got us the permission to drill the holes. It wasn't all that easy when you think, oh, there's that huge dam and you just drill holes all over the place. It's a wild shot. Definitely a hostage. We're gonna try and get away with building anchors in the actual dam down there. There should be enough of a dish that Justin has clearance. I'll come up here with this guy and Spend the day and drill and repel and... So, Vladi? Yeah. You got the hook up on the ticket? No. Gotta pay. What? We already had 10 days for free, man. And when we show up, no, no more. Ooh. Oh! Careful. Those dangerous ski boots. <laughs> Dude, we should just hang out here for a little bit. I bet we get better footage just hanging out here. Right there. The same people. <laughs> God, look what it does to his forehead. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Caleb and Eric, they were setting up the cable, getting everything dialed with Vole while I was filming those few days. Ordering the ropes with Eric and Caleb together where Justin wasn't there yet. You know, that was like three or four days, you know, where we just organized the whole stuff. Or kilos. Like, it should be good to 5,000 or more kilograms. Pounds. Since we were having to order the ropes from Germany or something like that, it was like, okay, Vole had to be our direct translator. You, me to call her? you could tell that Vole was like not that into this whole thing right from the start. I mean, he was because he wanted to make it happen, but the whole process was definitely frustrating. Nine, 250. Hello? Stop that camera and I enough of those TV shows. For sure. You got it. You got the shots for ordering ropes. So many different things to do. Right. <laughs> I know, but I really want to get JP on a kicker. 
Especially Chapin was really motivated for this trip. I think he wanted to make up his radar bill with uh, a couple of shots. I kind of was leaving the pack. I just wanted to find something else. And when Gigi's with a bigger crew, he tends to just break off and go do his own thing. I was far away filming a jump with the rest of the crew, with JP and Sylvain and Vladi. I don't think he even knew that I was filming him, but I was. Yeah, Gigi. Yeah. Right, dude. You guys are stoked here. Look at your jump. Vole had some friends that were mountaineering guides. I had the stuff necessary to set those initial anchor points so that then Caleb could come in and do his job. If you don't, if you don't need help getting gear up, yeah, I don't need help. No. And you could tell this one dude, Ube, he was the man. He was the guy who did like the first rappel down. And we had to repel him from in the middle of the dam on the highest part to get the lower anchor points set up. So he had to repel those 120 meters, 300 feet down or whatever, you know. Fuck, man, from up there it looks scary. I would Holy never repel yeah. down there. But he had to like drop in and then swing in and grab the wall, cliffhanger style, like hang from a finger and then get the drill and like <laughs> drill in a point. So fucking overhanging. Whatever it takes to get the shot. Exactly. 